Hey, good evening, everybody. Second job, Game of Sedation here, doing some Septech Ages. We're going to work on reorganizing the base a little bit tonight, uh, move some stuff over to the pneumatic craft area, uh, clear up a good chunk of that area over there, and uh, just work on getting some more stuff accomplished in this place. Um, probably going to work on the inscribing thing as well and get started with the uh, fine storage first, um, applied energistics afterward. Going to have to probably rebuild a whole brand new place for it because uh, you know we didn't build for the future on this one <laughs> so it is what it's going to be and we're going to work on all that tonight so as always we're going to start off the episode with a prayer and we thank you lord for bringing us together and giving us time to spend um just entertainment time together and uplifting each other with one another and we pray this in jesus name so i'm gonna wait for a little while um do some odd things while we wait for nine to show up uh just see how everything needs to get going so i'm gonna drop off this experience real quick and then we're gonna walk on over here we do have another villager here to take care of so made a couple mob imprisonment tools the other day you have giant building right here set up for that craft and I have revamped the place, moved some things around. I don't really need him anymore. And got some safety tube modules on there so the things won't explode on me. This right here. And then got the pneumatic doors, the pressure tubes and everything. The really cool thing here is following this guy right here, the flux compressor. He will go ahead and keep energy from this guy that we moved over, way over there, over to here, to charge this thing by itself. And, of course, we got the insulated MV so we can walk over it and not zap the yeah, the hearts right off of us. So the wall is going to be expanded out a little bit. I um, don't really know where to put all this stuff. Got sheep over here now. Um, chickens. No, sheep. That's bamboo. Sheep right here. Chickens here. Cows here. Um, other guys here and there. And pigs a little further out too. So we got some things working on that right there. Take a quick look on that right there. All right. So this guy is constantly powered. He needed a power adapter because it's uh, I. What is that? I F to F E, <laughs> forge energy, and so we do need all that. Um, we went ahead and put mending on our uh, mantle of stars and things. Vicio, so we got all that done. Uh, it repaired itself super fast. Put down a nice little yellow line here to declare the place of off limits to the villagers. Um, put in some sneaky pressure plates. They do not work right, so I'm probably going to be getting rid of them and replacing them back with the regular, uh, regular ones. Because for some reason, you got to go straight across it for it to work. But if you go in a corner like that, it don't work. Don't ask me why. I don't know. <laughs> This doesn't make any sense why that is what that is. Well, for dust goes down here. Bone meal, regrind into white powder, platinum dust, nickel grit. Leave him there. White dye down here. I'm leaving all the powders down here. All the other things this way, so we have our setup of our stuff there. And now, then, someone's not turning off the power. Mm. See, it didn't work because I didn't come straight across it. And I, I went across it enough, but it didn't work. What's going on? I know. 
kind of crazy, you know? So, yeah, I want to get rid of those things. For some reason, it just does not work out right. I do have some of those guys around or on me, I'm guessing, but see, this guy's looking around like he's going to come on in, and we can't have that. So, come back over here real quick. That's only two. I have three. These guys here. Cool. There. I like the pneumatic door one because it automatically detects you, opens it up, and then closes it for you as well. I'm gonna fill this in. <clears throat> Might need to move the stable somewhere else, or need to move some of this stuff down. I also put down some markers for some more uh, metal presses. We have one, two, three here. That'd make five, but I need, need eight. So, work on that there. Um, active block. Yeah, lots of those things we can do. Um, grind that guy up because he's from a a player mob, not me. <laughs> Managed to live. Be good. So we've been getting a lot of white powder that way. Um, there he is. I've also upgraded my armor to check and see what can be done with it. So I've got uh, blast resistant 8 on this one. Projectile resistant eight on that one, fire resistant eight on this one, and resistance on this one. So my my shirts bars, my armor bar has gone up dramatically. Is pretty cool. I'm gonna go find out what I did with the pressure plates. No, I would not have thrown those away. They would be useful for later. And we uh, cleaned up everything here. Hey, got some more end storage. Let's see. And I've got these sneaky plates all over the place, and they're driving me sneaky crazy. Well, these guys work. No matter which way you go, they're going to work. Not the other ones. They're just crazy like that. Okay, so we got a mob that um need to fit into somewhere. Let him not move around too much. So we're gonna probably build a jail at some point in time too. Oh, another cool thing that we did over the time is we have a block placer here. Automated block placer there, so we got all this stuff fixed up and ready to go as well. So I don't think I have anything I can show you just yet, but I would like to build some more bricks, so we'll just take care of that real quick. And it automatically takes care of it. <clears throat> be able to come down here and just pull stuff up. Yeah, that would be awesome. So we're going to make this into brick. Bing! Unfired bricks. Run on down here. I'm going to take care of this spot over this way. And just drop it on in there. And once it pops off, the absorption hopper grabs it, drops it into the thing here. Done. Look at that. Boom. Instant greatness. And of course, I can just. Leave it out there. So this is another lawn build over here that I'm going to have to fix up. 
move over sometime because we are anti lawn build. Um, do have some horses that need to be fed. Hopefully, they will breed themselves. Yep, there and move over, horsey. There, yep, there's one, there's two. Now they'll breed a horse for us. Good day, guys. <laughs> and a little close to him there. Okay, so I guess that is what was stopping them. Cool. <laughs> Now I have to tame that horse later on because he's a tiny guy. So let's go drop all this junk off real quick and get back to moving on it. Pressure plates are just not very cool. There's one right over here too. And it just... Not, not good. Don't knock them. All the planks are just not working out for me. They just don't shut like they're supposed to. Nothing about it. Got them all over the place. That one. That thing works out good, though. Grab some diorite. Take care of that thing, too. Pile. Probably wouldn't be a big deal. I could probably put almost any kind of diorite in there and it would just be fine. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. And so we used to go down below this way, but they started following me one night I get down here to our experience thingy and to our course fruit popper but I thought it would be easier just to use a ender elevator <laughs> and it moves us over here <laughs> that way they can't follow us and we can get to wherever we want to go <laughs> uh, I do need to replace those uh, this guy right here with a different one, but I don't think it's necessary right now because we can make the omnidirectional hopper now and it's just so much better. Um, that one didn't work either, so it's like. Ugh. Oop. Don't need to go that way. Go up here. Grab one of these guys, two of these guys. To Drop. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. And break you. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Oh, where did that go? I don't know what that's for. Go take care of him and pull him up as well. I put an elevator in there too now because that, that that thing's driving me crazy. Yeah. I do need to move this stuff over somewhere else. 
and pull this thing up as well. And we'll figure all that out later on. So now to the main deal for tonight. These guys over here, the boiler, this guy, that guy, and this guy have got to move over to here. Take care of this stuff on this side. In the meantime, go ahead and fence in a Zombert real quick. Nine's going to make a jail sooner or later. Actually got the, the idea for it. We'll put another brick fences down because that's what we got to work with. Just want something. Nope, not ultimating it. We're gonna go around like a normal person. I'm gonna stick him. Four. Four. Right here. And we're gonna splash him. We're gonna feed him. And he's gonna start shaking, he's gonna change into a nice little guy, and we're gonna let him run around like a normal person. All right, and take him. They stack, they do not stack. Okay, it's been a long time since I've done anything with that one. All right, let's take a look at this thingy. Got six, is in this zone here. So, um. <clears throat> he is going to be in this zone. Yeah, okay. I wish I had Ender uh, Io because we could put in the lights up there. It'd be really cool. Um, so, I'm going to build these things backwards. Um,. See how am I gonna do this? Um we're gonna lose some gonna lose some stuff, but that's gonna be fine. Okay. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Oh cool. Didn't lose it. Good. Um place that. Him up, him up, him up, and now in that piece. Thank you. Good evening. Nice to see you. And we are walking some things around here. All right. So we want to be able to power them one by one by one. So go ahead and auto link. Um, put him up in there. I'm in there. And put him. And now then, liquid processor, freeze the preview. This will be the second to last thing. The cam here. There he goes. We now have a ooh sage sage. You saging. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, right. And 
You are free to go, my friend. Run away, run away. <laughs> Ooh, look at him go. He ain't wasting any time, is he? Mm -hmm. Found himself some doors and went after them. All right, so let's see here. Got a energy hatch on the back. Oh, actually, energy hatch there. Okay, that guy. Have fluid input, fluid output. All right, so. Input here with output here, machine casing here, and then there, 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 and then this guy should this. Found none. Okay, let's take a look again. Output. Put. Output. Put. What you're asking me for? Oh. Duh. Okay. There we go. Still no matching recipe found. So we got that one done. And now then we can do this guy. Just, you know, pile it here. Oof. That's a lot of stuff. There is, there he is. There, and input hatch back there, with energy. You got one in the middle, and those guys on the top with the fluid input and the all item output there. Okay. You guys are solid. Okay. Solid. Wrong one back over here, don't I? Yep. Sure do. And all item output. And I wonder, I guess I can't put it out that way like that. Um, so we're going to move over to Era. And now then. Propene, naphtha, plastic. Move this naphtha, naphtha over here. <laughs> and uh, red dye powder. Put these away. 
I'll make some more too because we are running low. Uh, actually, so this thing in over here. Plastic molder, plastic molder. And now then, are going to energy hatch. And we have solid, empty, empty. Okay. We have fluid, fluid. I'm wondering if we can move those around if it has to be that way. So if we did. Uh, fluid output hatch there. Get a fluid input here and a fluid input there. Get a machine controller here. And I wonder if this will work. Let's find out. You're going to make me do it your way, aren't you? Boo! <laughs> hey, boo. All right, so... Output, input, put. just gotta be the way you want it doesn't it all right so put the naphtha here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah naphtha and we will uh, wrench out wrench 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 turn it in that way <clears throat> then we will get the molten plastic. We don't need to do that that way anymore. We can just um and plug it in that way like that. And now then oop. it was just yeah, it's powerful that way. And um, plastic, propane, steam, plastic, steam. Just drain all this out that as we need to go from there. The or is that going to be in the molten plastic? Yeah, you're going to be the molten plastic right here. You that's kind of weird. Huh. Okay. And propane. And plastic, molten propane. These guys out of the way. And these boys. Oh, no. The 
Making something. Molten plastic, you fella? You gonna make molten plastic or are you just out of power? No? Plenty of power. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. No propane, molten plastic, that's it. You should start making stuff. The plastic mixer right there. Plastic molder, progress. Matching recipe found. That are making some. Yeah, good. I need to move this over. Over. And uh instead of some kind of valve. Is there an immersive in valve? I don't see one or yep, that's there. Could just drain out completely. Yeah, you gotta drain out completely. Um, liquid processor should be getting the propane. And it right. Anathol is here. Yay! And the propane to molten plastic is. Huh? What must be doing? Input hatch. Yeah. Turn this off now. Yeah, good propane. What is going on here? Lots and lots of plastic. Are you uh, talking to Night Nine? Or did Maybe. you mute yours? Okay, what? Oh, just checking. Um, having trouble with this propane tank. Not working out for me. Got propane in it, but this guy will not make stuff. Um, weird. Hatch fluid input hatch. Hmm. He's not making any any plastics. Well, it it's full of plastic. But you're saying it's not putting out any plastic. Oh. Yeah, it's not. It wasn't doing that. So. Mixer. I guess that's why it's doing that. Okay. That makes sense. Um, Going to need to take a look at the valves real quick. The fluid pipes. See if we got some way that we can lift those boys off. Nope. 
fluid router. Okay. Fluid router. He has a fluid pipe, iron, four treated thingy, so yeah. I might have to move the machine controller or this guy over one more. But I wanted to streamline it over here and it's way better than it was over there. <clears throat> I guess that would work too, the way that is. You need a and these guys be redstoned. Turn them on, turn them off. The pipes, you mean, or oh, the machine itself? Huh. It looks good there. Okay. Heat. What's this last one do? He makes the plastic sheets. And we don't need any more because we got a stack of it now. But it's quite able to take some. Now it's not finding any. It's not making anything. Well, the it's empty. The plastic mixer is. But it's got plenty of plastic there. Take that out. Change it and pop it on through. Pumping it out. So you got plenty of you in it. Well, wouldn't this be better suited for a liquid hopper? Possibly. Because then you know you're pumping, and it's the pumping thing that's the problem. Um, that pipe is just a pipe. It Something has to either pull it or push it through it. It doesn't have any other functionality. All right, well, let's ourselves some go with the barrels I'd rather have the barrel drain all this stuff out Yeah, we'll just I'll get all these empty, all these fluid hoppers emptied, and then we can move on from there. <clears throat> so we can have things. This one right here is the way it's going to be. This one right here is the way it's going to be. So you're going to be putting something in front of it? Yeah, I'm putting the Hold boiler on. over here. Giant machine way over here. Yep, yeah, sure can. It raising on up. Then you making more progress. Ah. No, no. If I was to lose it, I would be okay with that because I'm just trying to get it all mixed out. Yeah. Where are you there?
and to clean all these boys out. See if they will on over. Cool. Oh, we got some here. Propane. Got naphtha. Got steam. Here. A little low on the propane there. So these guys don't work between each other. I will need the fluid hoppers. <laughs> right one? Nope, you're not the right one. Yeah. No, man. Not what you just did. That was weird. Okay. I held in. I need to move this guy over, and we need to put some kind of uh, fluid router over there. That way we can get him going in two different directions, tell it which way to go. Right, so, fluid router, this guy, four plates and a copper. I don't have the copper. Let's go get the copper. Hmm. Huh. Um, we have a sage now. Sage. Really? I don't know where he went, but he was over here earlier. I cured him and freed him of his issues. Oh, was he the one that you mm -hmm. encased? I don't know where he went. I don't have them on the map, so I don't want them cluttering up my map, so I don't know where they're at. And why have I got a ton of beetroots? <laughs> Never mind. They're, they're talking to each other and going, hey. Um, yeah. Let's put these guys in here for now. You probably just picked the wrong time to walk by. Right. Hey, he took off with my beets. No, oh, eight roots. Fucked them right up too. Um, oh, I found your sage. He's talking to the druid. Yeah, which wouldn't make sense. Good mix. Okay, so fluid router, that 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 a fluid pipe. So one of you, redstone, pretty wood planks. Go ahead and get that done. Okay. See you in a little bit. Iron ingots. It's right there. A redstone. I want to take him. Ooh. I'll break him. Change him out. Catch. Him to right here. There. <coughs> Survival world for bored content creators. I <laughs> wouldn't say I'm bored. Um, 
with all these guys. And controller. And put hatch here. Output hatch here. And you. And drop it back in. Bam. Alright, so move it router. Whoa. Alright, so are heading to the west. This is new. Mm -hmm. I am. A molten plastic drain you out. And empty you on out. And done. And now then, uh, b -b -b here, here, in the middle. That plastic guy. Yep. There. Him around. And now it looks like we've got to build some more fluid hoppers. Or steamy. Are pretty much full of liquid plastic. And, uh,. This Oof. and two ah, guessing that's how it works. <laughs> Not really sure. I haven't done the liquid router before. Input put there any style be just that filters are set up to like fucking thing. Lots of different figure the filter of that. Any of the fluids are piped in the router, they will be routed to an output it goes. Fluid routes to an unfiltered No fluid big set. Buttons above each filter can be used. Oh, okay, so coming in. Out, out, pull down. I guess that's how it works. Yeah, so yeah, we need two fluid routers, two fluid pipes now. Keep that one there. Have to make some hoppers. Ears. Got one. Bronze ingot. We got two bronze ingots. Okay, so. In Fuck. 
There we go. Down. Here? Huh? Okay, I get why I did that. Never mind. That kind of weird. Um, I took all the sneaky uh, pressure plates up. They were driving me crazy. Because <laughs> they weren't shutting doors? Mm -mm. Weren't doing it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I need these chests. Yeah. Uh, all the chests? How about that? All right, so let's do those. Do those. Do those. And get back over here. In the so just enough. Was he all? We'll see if this fluid router will actually do what I want it to do, the way I want it to do it. Punch. Punch. Got some. We're draining out. So. Go. Um, redstone on him. Like that. A signal. We need a high signal to work. Cool. That way we can only use it when we want to use it. And this guy right here will continue to use stuff and uh, possibly put stuff in there. You are molten propened. You are making stuff. Are you filling up? You're filling up and draining out, and you're draining into here. Draining into this one, which is fine with me. Drain into this one all you want. This is the primary piece right here. And you should. Yeah, it should be filling into this one too. Good. Good, good. Perfect. It works. It works. <laughs> and we got some of this stuff, so we'll just dump it in there as well. Yep. Then we can just move him on down. Drain all of it out of that thing. We'll have an empty barrel. Huh. Even more. Huh. Woo! That's neat. Not working that way. So output, yes. Input, no. So it won't suck it up, but it'll take the rest of it. Some naphtha. What he all? Oh boy. And now then this big monster here. Um 
spoiler. Oh, and now then, not in there. There you are. Oop. All right, so redstone control over there. I want the redstone to be other side. This. That way we can just dump it right in here. That should work out pretty good right there. Mm -hmm. okay. You should be empty. Nope, still going. Still going from over here. Uh -huh. All right, we're going to hold on to that. And molten plastic bucket. We can get rid of that one now, too. So let's. There. Yeah, this is going to be a mess. <laughs> Ain't taking that up just yet. Tools away that I'm not using. You. You. Nope. Sorry, you. You in there. In there. You guys in there. You in there. And drop the buckets all. Drop all. And now then we can. It doesn't take any power, so that's really cool. You. You. And break you. Start with this guy. Guys. And now, let's do here. That one, this one. And it matters. Um, that was simple. That was easy. <laughs> um, no, I clear that out. Okay, so. That is a one of those guys, and this is where the water comes in. Oh. Ooh, come here. Water. Good. And now then, you are the other stuff. Diesel.
Are you guys empty over here? Oh, aim. Water. Not anymore. And we'll drain him out, bring the piping down here. Get some uh, treated wood fences. Oh, oak fence. Okay, so fence, oh, treated fence. Yeah, I only need a couple, so three will do. Well, I did this thing a little faster than I had imagined it, so kind of pleased. What? Okay. You know, you got the team hopper in here now. Um, get the fluid pipes. Over. Hmm. And it's just oop. Oop. Shh. It just flows automatically. It doesn't need a thingy for it. Cool. Huh. Alright, it's all linked together. Nice. Um I am gonna make it look a little better though. I think that'd be nice. So what's it making? Or what Thing? was it making? Thing? No, not that. Uh, the machine. Oh, this is making molten propane. If you stick right here in the machine controller, you'll see that it's you know, making stuff. Well, I can see that it's doing something. I can't see what it's making, though. So. Liquid propane. And then it turns it into molten plastic in this one with the propane. And then it moves it over here to these many, many hoppers. <laughs> and then we've got it separated going into the plastic machine. If we ever need to make plastic, you flip that switch right there. And it'll start making plastic. And you're probably going to make more than you need, but eh, fine. And if you need to make colored plastic, you just use this one right here. Works. And uh, got the big naphtha barrel over there. Um, naphtha and lubricant and diesel. Lubricant. <laughs> yeah, lubricant. Um, any diesel, any of that. So put this over here. We're going to turn on the oil guy. to put a, a gate over here or something. So turn him on. Make sure we get some, yep, yeah, moving. And we are moving. Good. Yeah. We are dumping. Good. Good, good. Cool. Over here, and we're gonna eat some. Um, nope, we're not. Mm. 
We put the or no get out. <laughs> the spotted mushrooms does not go into the kitchen. Why is that? Because they will poison you. No matter if they're cooked or not. Yep. They don't care. They will poison you. And you can't really use them for any recipes that I know of, so. Oh, yeah, cool. Um, move this back into here. Chicken, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Can do something with that, can't we? Uh, it's a tasty sandwich. Uh, so, uh,. Not have any in the for boop. Make a tasty how, sandwich. How do you remove things from the turntable? You just break it. Pick or a axe or whatever. That's how you do it. I need to get one more treated wood fence. Oh. Completely full on the propane over here. Means we are completely full on the plastic. Full on the plastic. Full on the plastic. Mm -hmm. We are going to have a spare one. I do, but it's got steam in it, so um, that's hmm. Hmm. Barrel right there. Dump the steam into that thing. You should think that the steam would just float out of the barrel, but it, it's not. Consider it a liquid, not a gas. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird. I'm going to explode the steam. Wait for it, wait for it. And another. Try again. <laughs> e. Get molten plastic in. You're not good. Oh, come on. You don't drain too fast. We have an oak lid somewhere nearby that you know of. Um. Ow! Okay, that was un in the uh, <laughs> All right. So, 
Good thing I'm flame resistant. It just scared me though. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. So that will burn you like crazy. Burn you like you're hot. <laughs> we'll make plenty more this way. Ah, there it goes. Good. Making urns. Oh, we got a couple of them over there already. We got three or four of them. You gonna make the soul forge steel? What's the thought process? Okay, so when you put the urns in the block placer down there, and it'll place that right there, and you get the the um, nether rack right here in this chest and just stick it in that chest and stand back because your magnet will pull it instead of letting them drop in there and it will automatically place all the urns as they make the, gr the ground rack. So however many um, urns you have is how much ground rack you put in the, the chest above it. So if you got three, just stick three in that thing up there and it'll make, or four, you need four. You got one down there already. And that four will make your four soul urns for you. I thought it needed more material than that. I was thinking um, it, it said eight, but okay, so you need thirty-two then. Huh. What's blood with? Oh, okay. Oop. Give it to me. Oh, I need to turn mine off, too. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even step away. It just says... Mah. There you go. You have four urns at the bottom there. Let's go pick them up now. And you can't put a, can't put a hopper over here because it'll suck all the stuff out before the thing gets it. Oh, cool. Nine is learning my designs. Ooh, nine by design. <laughs> uh, boy. Empty now? Good. Make a birch barrel lid. Which I'm going to say we got one around here somewhere. Nope, but not up here. Charcoal or coal dust? There's some here. I think I've got some in there in the cauldron or, or the crucible already. Barrel there. Barrel here. Barrels. We are done with you. And now then. Have another. <laughs> Everything I was going to use is going to change that thing. Don't behave I signal. Keep making stuff. Cool. Totally empty. Good. Good, good. So we got plenty of plastic in here now. We got everything set up. It looks good. You're brilliant. I say so myself. <laughs> and I do. Tools <laughs> filling up. Naphtha's filling up. Here, I'll see. Barrel. Can.
<laughs> Lubricant, I love it. So cool. Barrels out. That way we'll have a stock of barrels just ready to go. Making some more good. Good. Yes, everything's coming along. <laughs> Yeah, so Naptha or Naptha Naptha. We got a ton of Naptha to clean up here. The naphtha is not in the naphtha section. Yes, yeah, so we got barrels to spare now. Yeah. Oh, there's my birch lid. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Here. I gotta put some back real quick. Yeah, I didn't know you had an absorption hopper over here. It worried me for a second. Why? Is it I didn't know where the urns were going. Oh. They were just vanishing. Uh, I do do that, don't I? All right, so you have to go. All I needed for that one. Dicks. From those guys, I saw those same tabs. Okay. A mineral slab. Nope, no mineral wood slab. Okay, I'll use those then. Red um. Yeah. Have you checked to see what pavement is? No. Sounds interesting. Uh, better with add-ons. Ooh, another sludge. Yeah, we got 32 of it over here is why I was looking at it. Okay, I'll bring you some gravel. I should have some. Right out.
kerosene. Um, what are we missing here? Gasoline. I need the sign back. Whoops. That's right. Making the, the torches. Don't need no stinking torches. <laughs> there we go. I hope this doesn't explode on me. It says a stoked cauldron. Not as a long as you don't put hellfire dust in there, it'll be fine. Well, the the way you make nether sludge is with potash and hellfire dust. So, nope, it kind of worries me. No, nether sludge is not a stoked. It's just a regular cauldron. Well, that's a crucible. It says cauldron, not stoked cauldron. So come on over here to the kitchen. No, for here. what? For nether sludge. I'm not making nether sludge. I have nether sludge. So I'm making, making the pavement. It's, yeah, nether sludge is fine. Put it in there. Stoked cauldron's good. Just don't put the hellfire dust in there. Now, because nether sludge is made with hellfire dust, you would think that. <laughs> okay. As far as I can tell, this is a stoked cauldron, right? Yes. What? Huh. That's weird. <laughs> that is kind of odd. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. All right. So. You should be empty now. Still making a bunch of stuff over here? Rawr. Ah, nice. Barrel. It up. Um. I can get up there, but. Here. Oh, okay. There's no oh yellow X is up here. Hell. Oh. Yeah. On my boots. Night time. Night time, because that's the only way it's going to work there. Break you. Placements. Right. Saw, put it on to make the night time. Oh. Trying to figure out the 
placement that I need all this stuff to be done. So one, two, three, four, four. Four minerals. E Do that one. Ah, in there. I gained six levels just breaking blocks and putting them back down again. Six levels of what? Of experience? Oh. Thought you were talking about your astral sorcery. It's like I thought Whoa. you were maxed out already. Yeah, I'm good there. I was like, what did you figure out that I'm missing? Are full of steam. Are naphtha. Now you are completely full. We're not going to. There. Here, check this boy. Oh. Gone up with the diesel. Yo. And turn him off. him off. Huh. He'll still fill up with oil, but he will not. That's cool. Actually, over here on this dude, uh, invert it first. Not working Good. on and is not working. okay. Uh, always which okay. So, yeah, no, that's good. All that that way. Uh, so yeah, we will need a, a level. There, there, and yeah, these uh these pressure plates are way better. 
way just, better. Just the standard ones? Yeah. We up. Fill you completely up with twenty four thousand millibuckets of oil. Huh. Huh. I could put a. I could totally put a um, silo here. Big old tank. The molten plastic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lots of plastic. Oh. Make plastic block? Yeah. Um not. Make a plastic block. I don't know why you can't make a plastic block. And a plastic. Oh, cool. Straw. All that little bit of stuff out of it. Get all sick. Nastified. Or's recreator. The thing you were talking about the other night. Oh, yeah. A protein generator. <laughs> Tier one unprepared space suit chest plate. Speaking. Animal baby separator? <laughs> A mob duplicator. Oh. I think we've used that before. Something similar to it anyway. Yeah, maybe. Um... Grant. Huh. Wow. You okay? That is working. Don't need to have boots in or mm -hmm. 
have an extra mantle of the stars. You do? Yeah, apparently. I have no idea. Did I pick up your extra one somehow? Do you have your extra one? It would be downstairs in my room. It's there. Remember building an extra one. That's kind of strange. We have all the plastic we can handle here in a second. You. So now for the inscribing bits. Uh, engineering press. We'll start with that one. Need a block of iron. Iron to get a press. Heavy duty plate. Black to craft core. <laughs> yeah, I'm Presser. working. I'm working on that. Okay. Oof. It's not a small build, is it? You have another furnace made? I'm working on that. I mean, I mean, literally, that's the one I'm working on. Uh, well, I'm just making the compressor. So if you're looking at something else, Okay. Yep, that's exactly what I was looking at because the I need the, the compressor plate. for the plate to make the engineering chip. So let me find roller silicon, on purple pearl, quartz enriched iron, machine casing. Quartz enriched iron and arc furnace. Quartz and three. Those guys. So, okay. So, that's um, 16. Oh. Times three is thirty forty eight. I can do math. Eight sixty. Oh, hey, we are low on the surface first quartz. Yeah, I think we only had the one collection. Like you dug it up that once, that was it. I think. Yeah. Searches quartz. I need to go find some more of the uh, quartz mixes, huh? Yeah, there's a, a few in the desert, so 
Sure saves us from getting the black crystals that way. Oof. Powersome. Wrist iron. Good for breakfast. <laughs> That's so casing. I own an eight of those. I've got 20. Well, that's a pretty easy machine casing. What's that? The stone surrounded by eight quartz and wrist iron. So the machine casing that comes from the any crafting. Oof. And now then, of pearl three. We've gone. We've gone. We have silicon somewhere. Yeah. Sure. Should be in the chest. Uh, ah. What the? I put it in the drawer in the top on the left. How'd you move it? I did now. And a shulker pearl. Yeah, get up in there. And a grid. Crafting grid. It's probably going to need a grid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ouch. What? The crafting grid requires an advanced crafting table. The tier two extended crafting. The golden one. Mm hmm. Oh man. So quartz glass is four nether quartz, five nether quartz, and four glass. Okay. Grind up some nether quartz. Um, Missed one. I missed one. Okay, I'm definitely putting an elevator in this place. I'm tired of walking back and forth to try to get down that ladder. Yeah. Makes sense. <sighs> Go to the the desert tomorrow and pick up a bunch of more sand and ask. You've gone through seventy some odd stacks of sand? No. A lot of sand. Won't need sand. But you know, picking up the quartz, I'm going to pick up sand anyway, so. I'm in the nether getting uh, nether brick. Okay. If you look at how to make nether brick, yeah. it's a really big pain in the tuchus. Yep. So much faster just to run over, dig a hole in the keep.
Yep. Of course, you can also just use the Starlight Transmutation and turn Netherrack into Nether Brick. That way, it uses up a Starlight Liquid, though. It didn't show me that as a an option, so I didn't. Are you looking for the the brick bricks or the block bricks? Uh, it just says another brick is what we need. Like the block? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can just put a nether rack in that thingy and prepare that for you. I'm already here, so. I know. You oh, down to eighty percent on the integrity of these guys. Hell, the grid. Three annihilation core. Yeah, can't do those. Luminescence can do, but we've got tons of already. Machine case. I only go so far with it. I'm putting extra glass down into the Smithy chest again. Okay. I had never thought about that. We can enchant them. Um, unbreaking. Yeah. So we'll set up an enchanter thingy. Uh, Bibliocraft has a pressing plate that may work, and it may not work. Well, that can copy here. the books, and if not, the Ender library will dupe it. Well, possibly. I think it was fixed in 1.15. Right, so the grid is almost as much as we can be done with it. But yeah, that's a that was an awesome idea, of course, coming from Sir Dan. What was the idea? I didn't. Did you try enchanting your graphite rods? No, <laughs> I didn't. No, I would never even thought of. Yeah. It's, it's just a random item i would never have thought of attempting to do that uh, it doesn't like you can it shows that you've got any options for that but still yeah that's that's some out of the box thinking right there um let's see okay um, I don't. Oh, yeah. Not making a grid. I was making a, another crafting station. Yeah, I just looked at it. Graphite rod and didn't show anything that you could do with it. That's how you make it. And this is what you can make with it a fluorescent tube. That's it. So, oh. but we can certainly check it just real quick. We've got unbreaking books. Oh, awesome. Be even better if we just put mending on them. No, not that. This. Yeah, possibly. Um, that's the case anyway. There, there, there. Oh. Oh. Well, I do that all the time. Mixed up. Okay, so you. Efficiency, sharpness, loot. 
fight efficiency. No unbreaking books. Oh. We have a disenchanter, right? Yeah. No books. Uh, where'd the book go? They can pick up. Oh, it's not a book. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it would work that way because it doesn't really it's the machine that works efficiently and the other way but yeah it's a idea no oh, gotta use the anvil <laughs> you can't use anything like that you gotta use anvils That's um you you hey look at that it does work <laughs> Yeah, you see, that's why we wouldn't have thought of it because you know, it doesn't show that it's even an option. But yeah, cool. Uh, what am I? Oh yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. Thanks again, man. That's awesome. I'll say it one more time. Awesome. <laughs> and now be quiet, please. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we don't have a... Right? Uh, efficiency 4, and I'm breaking 2 book in there now. Under pressure. <laughs> Guys, y'all gotta stop standing in front of the doorways. Oh... Um, there you go. Oh, cool. What kind of power does this guy take? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, heck if I know. Um, yeah. Oh. The converted kind, at least? I don't know. Right. Um, press. I would try it in the immersive engineering section of town. To... I need a block of iron. Oh. That's not what I need. You need a heavy duty plate, which is steel, aluminum, bronze, two steel, two aluminum, two bronze. Wait a minute. All right. So four steel, four aluminum, four bronze. I got, I got two of those sets already to go. Ah, I missed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Four. No bronze. Of course not, because it requires that other thingy. Um, there should be some bronze. Yeah, there are. I got two though. Because I made a stack of sixty-four. There we go. At one point. Granted, I used most you know, twenty some out of them. Oh, it needs fuel. Oh, okay. Well, ah. that's all it needs is fuel. Get this guy in the pneumatic craft building then. What? <laughs> all right, so, um, Get the point. 
fuel for fuel. Oh, yeah, that moves quick. Don't work that way. Okay. I don't think I've made this particular mod before. Oh, cool. Sound effects. Oh, well. Get me back that. Huh. Don't need four. That's stuff we just need two. I didn't see that it made two of each. Oh, a whole other thing to use for charcoal here. Oh, beans. Heard that in a while, have you? Uh, uh, refried beans? No. Yeah, I've heard it. Kind of, kind of silly what I just did there. Um, that. to this guy not powered up what oh man that's not cool what it's working yay what did oh, you already that's stage five oh man we're gonna get into some serious digs here later on. Uh, I'll make another culinary uh, guy. Later on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was pretty massive. So what did you put down that activated that? The inscriber from Applied Energistics, which I had already built, so it's like, why didn't we get it before? Um, actually... Because you hadn't placed it. I guess. Or connected I mean, it to the power, at least. I guess. I mean, but I, when I broke it and picked it up, that's when it gave it to me. I don't know. Um, or did I pick up the printed engineering circuit? I guess that's what it happened. Um, yeah, so, okay, well, we're out of time now, so we will put the stuff together tomorrow um, for the power for the thing back there. And, uh, yeah. So, right in, this is the pneumatic building. Pretty cool. Got power doors. This thing works perfectly. Um, got the protection guy on the back of it safety tube modules so they don't blow up on us right there right there set them to particular kind of pressures this uh, uv blocks is not necessary anymore so i'm gonna move him out the way uh not long didn't take long at all once i figured out that this guy right here did not need to be connected to him it was a simple setup from then on. Pretty, pretty quick and easy. I need to put a little sign here that says uh, output. Sign here that says input. Stop turning on. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep those two. The night sight for a second. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, so we're going to need more of these. So let's and take care of those so as always we thank y'all for taking time and hope that god blesses y'all tomorrow and good night take care